Chapter 15 Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has thrown both horse and rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my victory. He is my God, and I will praise him. He is my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. Yes, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and armies he has thrown into the sea. The very best of Pharaoh's officers have been drowned in the Red Sea. The deep waters have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, dashes the enemy to pieces. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrew those who rose against you. Your anger flashed forth. It consumed them as fire burned straw. At the blast of your breath, the waters piled up. The surging waters stood straight like a wall. In the middle of the sea, the waters became hard. The enemy said, I will chase them, catch up with them, and destroy them. I will divide the plunder, avenging myself against them. I will unsheathe my sword, my power will destroy them. But with a blast of your breath, the sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who else among the gods is like you, O Lord? Who is glorious in holiness like you, so awesome in splendor, performing such wonders? You raised up your hand, and the earth swallowed our enemies. With unfailing love you will lead this people whom you have ransomed. You will guide them in your strength to the place where your holiness dwells. The nations will hear and tremble. Anguish will grip the people of Philistia. The leaders of Edom will be terrified. The nobles of Moab will tremble. All the people of Canaan will melt with fear. Terror and dread will overcome them. Because of your great power, they will be silent like a stone. Until your people pass by, O oh Lord, until the people whom you purchased pass by, you will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain, the place you have made as your home, O oh Lord, the sanctuary, O oh Lord, that your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. When Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and charioteers rushed into the sea, the Lord brought the water crashing down on them. But the people of Israel had walked through on dry land. Then Miriam the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine and led all the women in rhythm and dance. And Miriam sang this song, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has thrown both horse and rider into the sea. Then Moses led the people of Israel away from the Red Sea, and they moved out into the Shur Desert. They traveled in this desert for three days without water, when they came to Marah, they finally found water, but the people couldn't drink it because it was bitter. That is why the place was called Marah, which means bitter. Then the people turned against Moses. What are we going to drink? they demanded. So Moses cried out to the Lord for help, and the Lord showed him a branch. Moses took the branch and threw it into the water. This made the water good to drink. It was there at Marah that the Lord laid before them the following conditions to test their faithfulness to him. If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, obeying his commands and laws, then I will not make you suffer the diseases I sent on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. After leaving Marah, they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs and seventy palm trees. They camped there beside the springs.